good afternoon students today our lectures going on inflammation exudated inflammations inflammation this is a complex local protective adaptive vascular measles camel reaction in the response of damage by various agents established in the process of phylogenesis and refer to the general pathological process inflammation develops in dead territory in areas dead territories or histones it is a structural functional units of connective tissue which includes cells with connective tissue the main substance the microcirculatory channels and nerve channels and regulation of inflammations the nerves the nervous humerals and immune system terminology of inflammations sinusitis is and in english and it is in latin language for example sinusitis inflammation of the sinuses gastrit gastritis irritation or erosions of the lining of the stomach tonsillitis tonsillitis is the inflammation of the tonsils hepatitis inflammation of the liver tissue angina fruncles the follicles infection of the hair follicles pneumonia it is the accumulation of exudates in the lumen of the alveoli emphema what is emphema emphema is accumulation of pus in the pleural cavity scheme of interaction interrelation of the phases of inflammation there are three phases alteration exudation and proliferation alteration it is a initial phase of inflammation release of mediated that triggers for inflammation exudation the reaction of the microvasculatures first one is disturbance of the rheological pro properties of blood and then increase vascular permeability after that blood cells immigration phagocytosis and then formation of exudates and cellular infiltrations and the third one is proliferation it is the reproductions histogenic and hematogenesis cell the role of inflammatory mediators there are two types of inflammatory mediators first one is tissue mediator also called cellular and plasma mediator first one is tissue mediators the source of tissue mediators are lebrocytes basophils granulocytes and platelets mediator of the group of the biogenic amines for first one is histamine and second one is serotins causes acute dilation of the blood vessels the tissue swelling first one is vascular permeability mucus secretions smooth muscle contractions mediator process role lysosomes of neutrophils macrophages and l lymphocytes then activates t lymphocyte this is the important in phagocytosis second one is plasma mediator they are activating three system they activate the stage of precursors and activated by inflammation first one is canin second one is coagulation system third one is complementary system we here canins bradykinase decrease the blood pressure because of enlargement of the permeability of the vessels muscular permeability calicarin is a role in the leukocyte chemotaxis coagulations hegemans factor 11 also called coagulation factors activates plasma membrane muscular permeability neutrophils migrations platelet aggregations complement complementary system serum specific proteins c3 to c5 vascular permeability neutrophils migrations macrophages value in the phagocytosis classification of inflammation there are three types of classification of inflammation first one is alteration second one exudation and fourth one is, third one is proliferation and also synonym is productive alteration myocardial myocarditis with the diphtheria exudative inflammation there are so many kinds of exudative inflammation first one is serous purulent purulent also abscesses and phlegmon fibrinous diphtheritic corpus hemorrhagic 
putrids, catharal, catharal is also cathara, serous, purulent, slimy, hemorrhage, and mixed. Serous pleurisy. Here, here the cavity, pleural cavity. This shows the exudate in the left transparent serous. Trans transparent serous exudate in the left pleural cavity. This one. Yeah. Types of pleural inflammation. First one is abscess. It is the demarcated from from a purulent inflammation characterized by the formation of cavity filled with pus. A membrane is formed around the abscess. It is the dis represented by the granulation tissue granulation tissue rich in capillaries through the walls of which there is an increased immigration of leukocyte around the capsule of the connective tissue fibers. The abscess shell that pro produce pus, this pus is called pyogenic membrane. Types of purulent inflammations, phlegmon. What is phlegmon? Diffuse purulent inflammation in which purulent exudates spread diffusely between tissue elements infil infiltrating, lying and exfoliating the tissue. There are two types of phlegmons. First one is soft phlegmon and third, second one is hard phlegmon. What is soft phlegmon? It is characterized by the absence of visible foci of tissue necrosis. Solid phlegmon, it is the presence of the foci, foci of necrosis that are not subjected to purulent fusion as a result of which the tissue becomes more dense and hard and it is rejected. Neutral, neutral necrotized tissue referred to the tissue of detritus. Types of purulent inflammation, cellulitis, emphema, septicopyema, in, in chronic pharma inflammation. What is cellul cellul cellulites? Cellulitis of fatty tissue characterized by the unlimited distributions. Emphema, accumulation of purulent exudate in the cavities, especially pleural cavity, gallbladder, appendix and etc. Septicopyema, hematogenic spread of purulent inflammation can be lead to the development of the sepsis. In chronic form of purulent inflammation, the formation of fistula phages, fistula sledge, abscess, wound, exhaustion develops and amyloidosis is possible. Nowadays, large amount of uh, slides we can show amyloidosis of kidney purulent meningitis here yeah. microscopic structure parameter overlying purulent exudates this one this color is light green color here accumulation of pus this one this one and lung abscess here microscopic structure microscopic pictures limited accumulation of the purulent pus exudates here Types of fibrinous inflammation, corpus inflammations, occurs when shallow necrosis at the impregnations of the necrotic mass with fibrins localized on single prismatic epithelium. The fibrinous film lies loosely with the underlying tissue mark the surface dull. Grayish, it seems that the mucus or serous membrane are shrinkled with short dust. The mucous membrane thick and wells when the film is separated. A surface defect is the form they become rough as it covered with fib fibers of fibrin in the form of hair. Well, when localized at the pericardium, the, they talk about hairy heart. Types of fibrin inflammation, diphtheretic inflammations and also called maybe may synonym Skin membrane develops with the deep tissue necrosis and impregnations of the necrotic mass with fibrins, often localized on the stratified squamous epithelium. The fibrinous film is 
tightly adhered to the underlying tissue deep defects appear during rejections outcome what will be outcome the result is type of the fibrinous inflammations in case of diphtheria inflammatory may be developed upon the localization on the attack of diphtheritic corpse on the pharynx often deep ulcer cicatricial changes form and bleeding is possible often in fibrinous exudate is subjected to organization it is cavity obliterations protective inflammation gangrenous aturus which injected into the focus of inflammation of the putrefactive bacteria that cause tissue decomposition with the formation of fatty gases mixed inflammation this is the combination of different type of exudation for example <clears throat> serous purulents serous fibrinous and purulent hemorrhagic Fibri fibrinous and hemorrhagic the here very important the changes in the nature of the exudates is the associated with the layering of infections and the changes in the reactivity of the organism fibrinous pericarditis and this is an exudate inflammation the pericardium is filtered infiltrated by the fibrinous exudates this consists of the fibrin stains and leukocytes fibrin described and amorphous as xenophilic the color is pink network fibrinous inflammation in the form of filaments and adhesions this is a macroscopic structure here microscopic structure this is fibrinous pericarditis what is crop this is cropus inflammation it is a homogeneous layer of the exudates lying close to but detected from the underlying inflammatory tissue which is comparatively unharmed may form a fibrinous cost cropus pneumonia this is a microscopic picture picture peral camel compacted in the gray color this one is gray color hemorrhagic inflammations indicate the severe vascular injury as a results blood predominates in the exudates there are numerous areas of local necrosis caused by the toxoplasmosis and resulting damage to vessels this is hemorrhagic phlegmon of the substance of faint phlegmon of subcutaneous fat this is a diffuse inflammatory process that spread along facial planes and through the tissue space without spaces without goes suppressions where a phlegmon is an acute suppressive inflammatory affecting thus the subcutaneous connective tissue phlegmon of the subcutaneous connective tissue here this one abscess pyogenic membrane this this one student should have to know about the lectures determination of inflammation phases of inflammation phases of the form of the inflammation types of exudates inflammation and outcome of inflammations and should have to ask some questions about microscopic description of the organs in various form of inflammation microscopic characterizations of the various form of the exudation exudative inflammations and that's all thanks for your attention